On this day, 18 years ago, in Albuquerque, New Mexico, I was born. Little did anyone know that I would be a completely different person than expected. My mom expected me to grow up to be a beautiful girl and then young woman. But in July of 2011, that all changed. I came out to her and described that I am transgender and don't belong in the body I was born with. Most people that age don't really know anything about themselves or understand what's going on. I'm not excluding myself from that group. I had no clue. I tried to convince myself that it was just a phase, but I never truly could. I would lie in bed at night and say to myself, everyone has an identity crisis. If the other girls can accept themselves, so can you. Clearly, I couldn't accept myself. Some think that being transgender is just the same experience as being a normal person whose mind and body match. It really isn't. I first had to figure out who I was in order to be who I am. Then when I did finally understand it, I had to tell people about it because I wasn't able to live the way I had been for much longer. It wasn't until the end of freshman year that I had told one friend, and then until the end of that summer to tell everyone. And that Facebook post that everyone saw wasn't even written by me. I had recruited that one friend to sign into my Facebook and make that post for me. I was too afraid to do it myself. Looking back at that moment, it seems stupid, but it's what had to be done in order to start my transition. Everyone had to know I had to let everyone in. From that point on, everyone understood but still had questions. Unlike other transgender guys, I'm more open to general questions. But I also don't think that it's my job or responsibility to educate everyone I encounter. If anyone wants to know anything about the transgender community, there's Google. You can do a search and learn the basics, but if, you, but if the questions are more me-oriented, then yes, I'll answer them for sure. But if you're simply wondering what it means to be transgender one night, don't wait until you see me to ask. You've got Google at your fingertips to type it in yourself and learn. I can't help what kind of shell I was born into, or why I am the way I am. But I do know what makes me comfortable, and happy in my own skin. And I think that's something we all want. I don't want to have to explain myself to people when they see old pictures. I don't want to explain this to my family, friends, employer, and coworkers. I don't want to be seen as different. It can be exhausting, stressful, and painful. But the first time I heard my voice drop, the first time I grew facial hair, the first time someone called me by male pronouns, the first time someone even called me my name, I was liberated. I felt like people could see who I was. Heck, I could see who I was. I was living a life for so long and it goes so far beyond what I would wear or what haircut I would have. It never truly helped. I didn't know who she was. I knew he was in there somewhere, but no one could see him, not even myself. It might be difficult for most people to understand, but I think that's why I talk about my transition so much. It's such a big part of my life, and anyone who knows me is aware of it. I, I'd rather educate others than do my best to be proud of myself. Sometimes when someone is not comfortable in their own skin, it's called dysphoria. It can sometimes be, por be portrayed as being locked in a cage, looking at yourself, at what you want to look like, but then looking to your left and seeing what you actually <coughs> look like in a mirror that seems to be mocking you. It truly is a crushing feeling. I'd like to add that yesterday was Transgender Day of Remembrance, a day to remember adults and kids that lost their lives due to transphobia. These people have either taken their lives or been beaten to death for being who they are. My parting advice for all of you is, just because you're young does not mean you are weak and don't know what you're talking about. Fight for what you believe in. If you believe you are something you don't appear to be, go for it. If it ever comes down to it, be as sassy as you need to be. Lastly, I want to thank you for the support everyone has given me these past 18 years in making this an accepting environment to live.